Critical Blast. Where pop culture gets blasted. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. No time to say hello, goodbye. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Late. I hate being late. I always try to get where I'm going at least 15 minutes early because being late reflects negatively on your preparedness. But I've been late. I'm late even now. This year we had a huge relocation effort that derailed many of our site's plans, including the trophies for our Best of 2018 awards, which are just now getting ordered and shipped, and it's May of 2019. So yeah, I get late. Crowdfunded comics and other crowdfunded projects fall behind schedule all the time. Usually this is because the project is headed by someone who knows how to pull off the product they are putting together, but has no or very limited experience with the rest of the business that goes with distribution and fulfillment of the product. Case in point, Ethan Van Skyver's Indiegogo project, Cyberfrog Blood Honey. If you haven't heard of it yet, just pop over to Twitter and do a search on it. Among the number of people who are excited about the project, you will also find a fair number of tweets like these. Well, in case you missed it, Cyberfrog still hasn't been released. A thread. I think I'll have to crowdsource this one. Someone made a reference to Ethan Van Skyver's Cyberfrog comic book, finally seeing print, and I wanted to make a running list of things that we can expect before that happens. First up, the final Game of Thrones book. Last I knew, Cyberfrog was six months overdue. So what product are you referring to? That sort of commitment to deadlines and production or why EVS can't get a job in mainstream anything. You folks keep sending EVS money for nothing though. It's adorable. Oh yeah, I heard Dead Beats reached its end goal. Congrats. When do you think it'll come out? It'll be out in October, just in time for Halloween. So long before Cyberfrog, essentially. Sorry, folks, but Cyberfrog was a scam, and Ethan Van Skyver hoodwinked us all. The proof is here. Honestly, what else are they going to do while they're waiting for that Cyberfrog book that's never coming? Yuck. Just like that late brick of the book, yuck. Cyberfrog looks like it will never see the light of day. Now, being late on a project is never good. And if you've taken people's money and show no good faith in delivering on the product, well, there's a word for that. It's called fraud. So how does Cyberfrog, now about eight months behind its originally announced deadline, stack up against other crowdfunded projects by professionals in the comics community. Here's Hawaiian Dick from B. Clay Moore, whose work has graced the pages of Superman Confidential and Bloodshot, among other titles. Touted as a soon-to-be television show, this campaign ended in 2015 and is now three and a half years late after having collected over $20,000. Richard Pace is a multifaceted comics professional as a writer, penciler, and a colorist. He's written a Batman story for DC and has worked on various issues of Pitt. His pencils have appeared in Heavy Metal and Transmetropolitan, and he's done covers for Captain Marvel. He's crowdfunded a collection of his artwork titled Midnight Harvest, which concluded in May of 2014. As of this month, the project is five years overdue with a collection of $7,000 Canadian. Then there's Zoe Quinn. Quinn is the writer of DC Vertigo's Goddess Mode, but before that she was a video game designer. Her project, a video game called Kickstarted in the Butt, a Chuck Tingle adventure, raised over $85,000. It was expected to be delivered in February of 2017, putting it now a little over two years late. So why the focus on Cyberfrog? Perhaps because it's still an open project with heavy marketing. The other projects are, perhaps, old enough that everyone has started to forget about them. But in comparison, 
while Cyberfrog is indeed late, it's the least late of these titles. Or maybe it's not that. Maybe it's not that it's more recent. Perhaps there's a more pecuniary reason for the attention being drawn to the Cyberfrog project. Maybe it's not easy being green while making green. Pace's Midnight Harvest funding has been converted to U.S. dollars for the purposes of this graphic. So there's late, and there's late. As to whether or not there is any intent to deliver on any of these projects, Cyberfrog included, well, history will have to be the judge of that. No, 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 I'm overdue. I'm really in a stew. No time to say goodbye. Hello, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late.